Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. It's spring, 64 degrees and sunny, which is a huge deal out here in Washington State, uh, particularly in May. And I changed the lighting so you can see me better. Much more importantly, you can see the samples better. Wanted to talk about flux. This is brazing flux. There is a difference between solder flux and brazing flux. Solder flux is low temp, below 800 degrees, and usually down around a couple hundred degrees. Brazing flux is above 800 degrees, and in our world, where you braze with 40, 50% silver, maybe 30, something like that, you're looking at 1100, 1200, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Three kinds of fluxes primarily. In our, this is, this is a white flux, and it's called white flux because it's white. Potassium salts of boron and fluorine. Um, the boron is like the is like the borax, the 20 mule team borax. It's a it's a cleaner among other things. Uh, the fluorine is a real aggressive cleaner etcher. White flux. The British the British saw doctors prefer the white flux. They train and teach with the white flux. Their argument is that the white flux is better because you can see the work through it. Uh, they're absolutely right. This is a bottle of black flux. And these samples I'm showing you are not samples for sale. I took them out of the shop. The samples we have for sale um, are come with a, with a lid. And then there's an inner seal to keep the air out. So to show you a sample, I'd have to take the inner seal off. And what, so we use this. This is, Emma, this is our squeezy bottle. We use it in production. Uh, the flux is water-based. It settles a little. You put your hand over the top. You shake it. Uh, it gets mixed up. You squeeze out the amount you want. We sell these, and they come with a cap on top to keep the air out of them. This also comes with, this is a shop bottle. It's been around a while. It's been washed, but there's the MS short MSD versions telling you not to eat it. Uh, it will irritate the eye and skin, but you don't want to eat it if you've ever gotten a little taste of it off off your hands. It's incredibly incredibly bitter. But anyway, this is black flux. Black flux is white flux with extra elemental boron in it. Black flux, we've solved a lot of problems over the years, brazing problems, by switching people from white flux to black flux. Black flux is more forgiving. Um, flux is an oxygen interceptor, and it intercepts oxygen, and the life of the flux is determined by how high a temperature, the, the height of the temperature plus the time at the temperature. So a short time at a higher temperature, a longer time at a lower temperature. Black flux we have found to be more forgiving. And in test after test, we found that you can solve brazing problems by switching from white flux to black flux. Uh, we also sell it. We sell flux in these. We sell flux in these one-pound jars. This is our own purified flux. This flux is has up to 15 20 percent inert materials so when they when they take the borax out they get the active borax they also have some other materials in it it's a matter of how much you want to refine them this works very very well it's been the standard for a lot of years this works better and people that have bought it and tried it about half of them really like it about half of them say they can't see any difference um, I think it's worth buying and trying it. Nobody thinks it works worse. Um, some people just don't think it's worth the extra money. And that's 50-50 is, is a pretty good product performance in this industry with a great variety of equipment and techniques and whatnot. But this is a purified flux, and it gives you much stronger joints because you have less crud trapped between the carbide and um, between the well between the braze alloy and the steel or anyway you have less crud in the braze joint so you get a much stronger um, stronger braze particularly 
on real, real thin parts. Uh, this is good. Some people use it all the time. Uh, and once again, ordinary black flux people use it, but we sell all these. We sell some special fluxes. We sell some, um, we sell brazing pastes. Um, our market seems to be small quantities at pretty good prices, but with silver jumping around like it is, and it was 35 bucks this morning. And God, I just bought, I just, I sent a check out for, sent out, I spent $5,000 yesterday on silver braze alloy. And when you see my palatial order, you can get some idea just how much money five grand is to me. But that's what good braze alloy costs. So anyway, that's a little bit about flux, what we offer. The essential thing is, are you soldering or are you brazing? Is it below 800 Fahrenheit? Is it above 800 Fahrenheit? Do you need a solder flux or a brazing flux? And after that, it's a, it's a matter of opinion, and we have a lot of information we'd be happy to supply. So that's a little bit about flux. It's Friday. It's going to be sunny here. Hope you have a great weekend, too. Bye.